Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto from Livingston, Montana. Welcome back to my time bench uh, for the fly tying season from uh, winter of 2015 to uh, spring of uh, 2016. Um, through the uh, 2015 season, or should I say, since I um, uh, stopped uh, producing videos, you know, uh, spring of 2015, I came up with many patterns. Uh, which I'd like, uh, like to share with you again uh, through the uh, winter and part of spring. Um, uh, first, I'd like to introduce um, I acquired this uh, mid jaw from uh, uh, Ring of Vice. This makes uh, my tying job much easier when I tie, you know, um, especially smaller flies. Yes, uh, midges, uh, mayfly, any, mayfly, any sizes of mayfly. Yeah. And then I also have, might as well, I'd like to introduce, um, this is the, uh, this is very large. This is a big game jaw that I start to use for the uh, Atlantic, Atlantic salmon flies or like a streamers. And then I do keep this uh, pretty much all round, you know, traditional jaw. So uh, I think I got covered for the <laughs> season, I guess. And then, uh, um, this is a greeting, you know, opening, and then uh, it's always kind of easier for me to start with uh, um, um, uh, easier pattern. So I, first, I'd like to introduce. Uh, I I have introduced this pattern, uh, you know, called uh, uh, Frix uh, Frix Midge Lover. Um, um, I like to introduce new colors and then uh, kind of modification. First, I start with this uh, red and then uh, uh, black. Then uh, uh, material that I've been using is is uh, uh, like a life flex, but also you can use like uh, a similar material like spandex or um, uh, super floss. You know that. Uh, uh, that kind of materials, you know, just works. And this is the uh, gray. Um, this is the uh... oh, doesn't stand up. Okay. This is the uh, uh, light olive, and then. Um, uh, this is the uh, kind of dark olive. So, uh, with these five colors, um, pretty much anywhere, any situation can be covered. And then, uh, all right, this shouldn't take so long. Um, so, I'd like to tie uh, one quickly. What I just showed you is size 20, 22 uh, on the scud hook, uh, such as Daiwiki 135. Uh, what I got here is. Uh, uh, size 16 so uh, um, uh, so we can see uh, much better much easier on the video and then uh, so I'm just using um, this is uh, uh, uni thread you know 70 70 uh, denier um, but uh, uh, the smaller uh, the hook size, you know, the smaller the um, um, uh, thread size, you know, I, I, I'll be using. So this is just right. Okay. All right. Size 16. Uh, most likely I'm going to toss this uh, to my uh, chronometers, chronometers box. One more up. And I'm gonna hold it here. Then I'm going to whip finish. Excuse me, I'm gonna. I want this uh, top piece on the top. I'm sorry, the front piece on the on the top. 
It's kind of... Uh... There you go. Rather than uh, uh, drooling to the side. Okay, I'm going to rip finish here. Okay, so this is, you know, very much lava. And then what I found, um, uh, what I found through uh, uh, fishing for midges, um, I need, you know, pupa. Uh, trout, they're rising, but I know they're feeding probably two inches below the surface, sometimes four inches below the surface. Um, they are feeding on pupa. So in that case, um, quickly, uh, I do have pup patterns, you know, uh, that I've been introducing, but also I have found by just cut here, I have I have found this works as pupa, uh, yes. And then uh, see, this is a scud hook, not a merger hook. So um, this penetrates, you know, the water column a bit faster. So this this version. Um, um, Probably can be fished like four inches below the surface, you know, really easily. Uh, yes, just just this little treatment makes uh, uh, some difference, and then uh, used as a pupa. So this is uh, so I, I introduced the new colors, and then a little modification. Uh, that's number one. So mid lover, which shouldn't take so long. So another pattern I came up with, kind of same idea. Um, uh, same base, based on the same concept, um, you know, lava pupa pattern that I that I start to call uh, la pupa, lava pupa, and then uh, with a little bead, a tiny bead. Um, this is also lava, but then again, can be under the you know uh, can be fished probably two inches, four inches below the surface. It can be taken as pupa um, as well as uh, lava. Um, uh, can, that can be found much deeper. So uh, this is kind of um, 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 a pattern that works for both lava and pupa so with a little bit here. And then uh, again, the black, uh, red, uh, and then uh, black. And you know, then black are very standard. If you can find like a black bead or something, that's fine. Go ahead and use it. Um, I just use red for you know uh, um, for all the um, colors um, for all the body uh, abdomen colors. I mean, this is a dark olive. Light olive. Then uh, this is a gray. Um, Okay, they are all is um, they are all tied with either life flex or uh, super floss. Then for the video, uh, this is the uh, size fourteen, size fourteen, uh, um, direct two seventy size fourteen, direct two seventy is a perfect um, uh, perfect for mid lava. Um, So again, what I just showed you uh, that I typically use at Spring Creeks or places like, you know, uh, Big Horn, um, uh, Missouri River, uh, tied with like size 20, 14, I'm sorry, size 20, 22, sometimes 18. And then, um, um, this larger one, especially red, uh, can be used for the uh, um, can be used as a chronometer at the still water. So I got a very good foundation here. This extra works help. You can you can twist this you know if you want. But either way, you will have a good segmentation with this material. So.
Okay. Two turns and then uh, uh, tighter. And just trim it. We finish. So again, I'm gonna toss this into my uh, chronomies box. All right, this is the uh, La Pupa. And then uh, uh, I'd like to share with you one more thing. Um, when I tie, um, this is the, uh, you know, a regular size, uh, uh, just just right out of this, you know, package, you know. But when I tie, um, um, like size 18 or 20, 22, even 24, like smaller, okay. Uh, this material can be um, uh, split really much, really easier. Okay, see if I can do it on here. Uh, okay, this is just a needle or a ball king. Uh, okay, I hold this, you know, this here, then just pull it. See, it's split, right? And uh, what you gotta do is um, see now it's much thinner for the smaller hook sizes. So uh, that's why I really like um, I really like this material for midget rubber, life flex or super floss, so or spandex that kind of. So well, uh, thank you for watching for the uh, first video for the season. Uh, 2015 to 2016 and then uh, 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 there will be more to come more videos to come so uh, uh, thank you and then I keep tying